Three numbers now, the birds. We're just heading to this gully. Penguin looking like birds on the rocks and uh, also on the water. And guillemots, chocolate brown back with white fronts. Up to around 60,000 now at the peak of the season. But a good, at least 50% of them already departed. They don't build a nest. They had, had shell, turquoise colour nest. Shaped like a pear, directly onto the rock. Shapes pointed, so if it's knocked, it spins round. On the evening of a high tide, there's a mass fledge of the uh, of the chicks. They can actually fly. The male, uh, sorry, the parents go onto the water. They've got a raucous call, encouraging the chick to jump. As soon as it gets into the water, the male looks after it, heads it out into the sea, away from the, the islands and the marauding gulls. The chick's got a very loud, very loud chirp and whistle so when the parent surfaces from fishing, feeding, you can find the chick again. We're going to head into this gull in here. We've got kittiwakes in here, they're a noisy gull, they're a natural sea gull, everything they get is from the sea. Unlike the uh, menacing herring gulls which uh, pinchy chips and ice cream, <laughs> and unfortunately chicks. So, the population's around 60,000 now, it has been increasing. Sorry? Black ones are corner, so are they? No, they're, they're, they're shags. Okay. So, when we get in here, it'll be quite raucous, the little noise of the kitty wakes. You're going to see some chicks there. Keep your eye out for a, a guillemot chick, or the chirp and whistle from them. The tide's quite low, you can see where the high water mark is, it's about a couple of metres at least higher up. Some of the kittiwakes nests very close to the water. Any rough weather, big swells crashing in, they would have taken away the lower nest. But luckily we've uh, had a good uh, season of calm seas. Come the end of this month, next week or two, all this box will be completely bare of birds, all departed. Anything from 125,000 to 250,000 each year. We're all right in here now. Right in front of us at one o'clock higher up, you've got a shag's nest. The brown ones are the young chicks panting in the sun. They look black, they're actually bottle green in colour. I can see a little guillemot chick right in front of us. That's vulnerable from a gully, that. Really low down, it's hiding there. Just trying to, uh, that's very vulnerable for a gull, is that one right in front of us? Parent birds are nowhere to be seen. Can you see it? That's uh, without his protection of his parents, that is uh, very vulnerable. That's a guillemot chick, very, very, very small. The shags are above us there, the seeds are just black, it's a box green colour. Relative of the cormorants, the cormorants are third times bigger. The shags will live around the islands all year long, the cormorants will head back into the river's nestry once they're finished breeding. They breed away from the other seabirds on one or two of the other islands. I'm going to back away from that ship because it needs its parent need it. Yeah, just in case, yeah. I've got you.